All right, so for today's video, we're gonna take the engine and the handle cable off of this deck, transplant it onto this one. Also have a new cover for this engine because this one's old and shabby. I might have a separate little cover here in the hoard somewhere. I'll have to look. Unfortunately, even though this machine runs perfectly fine, and I have put it up all the way from $50 to $25. Nobody seems to want it. I'm guessing because it doesn't have a bag and because of the uh, cosmetic appearance of it. So I'm going to take a small gamble and transplant it onto this deck, which can't accept a bag. I've got the frame for it, obviously. This bag and frame will not work on that deck. It's two completely different designs. I don't have a frame that will fit this deck. And even if I did, this deck needs to be refurbished. Now just to remove these three bolts, securing the engine to the frame. I'm always worried about breaking these bolts when I do this to an old rusty mower. Like I said, that just pulls right off. So I forget who it was, but one of you just asked me not too long ago, maybe a couple weeks ago as of the filming of this video, what the best option is. I think this thing is already empty. Indeed it is, so we're good. I was asked what the best option was if this exact scenario happened. You're trying to remove a engine from a deck and one, two, or all of the bolts shear off. Now, unfortunately, it's not uncommon, depending on where you live. Even here where rust really isn't an issue, it still can be an issue at some point. So you'd have two options. You can either A, take the time to drill it out, which yes, it takes a lot of time. B, you can replace the sump, which probably about 90% of the time is what I recommend doing. Now, if you wanna get one off of a used machine, that's your, your uh, call. But as far as we're concerned for this video, that's what I'm gonna do here. And I've already drained all the oil out of this thing as you guys saw. So that's why I keep a lot of these scrap Briggs engines lying around. Because when the time comes that I need a good sump, something like that, I can get them pretty easily. So I don't think I'm gonna to need to clean the shaft up too much because this one is uh, tapered a little bit. So, I think we'll be okay. But let's go ahead and remove everything. There's just a bunch of these bolts around the perimeter. And I think that's all of them. Just get yourself a mallet. Yeah, we're gonna need one. No big deal. Just like that. Stupid simple. Hopefully the gasket came off okay. And it did not. So we're gonna have to create a new gasket for it. Yeah, ripped off right there. Oh well. 
Maybe we'll get lucky with the other gasket and it'll stay on. So I've taken the gas tank off. I'm actually gonna put a different gas tank on this one because it's got a split in the seam. But all I'm doing right now is just draining all the oil out. Should be a couple more ounces. That's about everything. That oil was just changed if you guys watched the prior video I did on that other machine. So I'll just put that oil back into this motor when uh, we're ready to go back together. Now is the fun part. So I gotta pull off this blade adapter. And it looks like it's stuck on there, of course. I'll try a couple wax, but I might have to get the uh, better tool for this. They never come off that easy. So you guys can see the bolts completely sheared off. So comes out the same way the other one did. Just like that. So we are gonna have to redo the gasket. So I've got some of this 90 minute gasket maker. Don't need a whole lot of it. This stuff does set up pretty quick, but I just like to get a little bit on a finger and kind of just do a somewhat thin layer all around the perimeter. I'm gonna clean out the inside of this sump because it's uh, pretty dirty while it's setting. I'll be right back. It's good enough for me. So let's pop this back on. You wanna make sure that your governor assembly here is where it's supposed to be. We might have to uh, adjust that. But I'm actually gonna watch it. Make sure it doesn't move too much. And I can see that the governor assembly is lined up how it should be. So we'll just a couple taps. And that's as simple as it is to change one of these out. So according to the manual I have, it's 90 inch pounds. So I'm just going to do all of them in a crisscross pattern. And this last one. So we can put the blade adapter back on. So I'll we'll just slip this on in. There we go. Perfect. Now time to put the black gold back in. Alright. 
save in this gaffs cap. Just for posterity. Check the oil. It's good, right where it should be. Might as well give it a start. Well, we already know this machine's gonna start, but might as well show you guys if it's gonna be smoky or not. No smoke. A little bit in the muffler there, but definitely not smoking like a train. Pretty good though. Definitely happy with that outcome. Now just to give it a bath and be done with this video.